Cassidy. I'm the hippie Catholic. If you're new here, welcome. This is my lovely friend Jules. We both love um, checking out religious stuff and we are at um, a local Hindu temple today. We can't really take pictures inside, but um, out of respect for everybody, so we're not gonna do that. But I just wanted to show you guys like some of the like outdoor aesthetic and just to kind of increase some religious diversity and such here. There's flowers. Yeah, it just looks really nice and I like when I was a kid I would yeah that's the main temple yeah Jewel's been here before I've never been here I passed by this place like a lot in my childhood and I always thought it was like so cool I really don't know that much about Hinduism um, um truthfully this one here is a bell that like well sometimes like for like holidays and celebrations and stuff and uh -huh, yeah like, ribbons wrapped around it and they'll like walk around the bell and like they'll ring the bell sometimes. Yeah. I don't know exactly, that's all I know about it, I don't know more details, but that's like a, like a ceremonial type bell, bell yeah. thing. I know that like Hinduism is one of the oldest religions and I know in the western world a lot of times people lump Buddhism and Hinduism together but they're actually very different and Buddhism came a lot later. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. That's so cool. Yeah, and then there's... This is just so really, like, it's really interesting. But yeah, I think that that's... Would that be Krishna? Or we don't... I don't know who, what god that is. Well, there's ten different... They're all different. Uh, this one's Krishna, actually. Okay, that's Krishna? That's Krishna, the one with the flute. He's the ninth coming, and then I believe this is the anticipated tenth coming of uh, Brahman okay. as a human. So is Brahman like the creator god? Yeah, Brahman of is like the one true god. Okay. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, kind of like how in Christianity, how mm. uh, Jesus is God's son, it's the human uh, yeah. representation of God. Yeah. Uh, all of these are, there's been nine comings of Brahma as a human yeah. in the course of history. And the last one to come was the ninth coming uh, which is Krishna playing the flute. He was like a peaceful, uh, loving king. That's that's so interesting. Him. That's so like so a lot that's of a people, lot like Jesus, really. Yeah, so a lot of people um they compare Hindus actually, um, they'll have pictures of Buddha or pictures of Jesus like in their home next yeah. to Krishna because they can um, Krishna with Jesus and with Buddha so and with interesting. like Muhammad. Um, that it's all the same. Islam. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, like they kind of, you know, they don't know for sure, but like they kind of think of that of as like Jesus could be represented as that. They don't hate the other religions. They kind of welcome. Right. They kind of welcome all of them. Yeah, um, and then this is like I said, this hasn't the tenth coming hasn't happened yet, but they anticipate the tenth coming of Brahman, and this is like the picture of that. So that's like a statue over there. Yeah, let's go check that out. I think that's more like a, like a community room. Yeah. Sort of. So like the Actually, tan ones, like the community type center. Yeah. Okay. This hill is like so big. I know, that's what it's like, part of me is like tempted, like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna roll, but then I'm like, I would break something. Ride the sick rail, dude. Like, yeah, ride the Hell sick yeah. rail. <laughs> Just to be like... This, I believe, is a donation from the uh, uh, Hindu Temple of Chicago. Yeah, so we've got like some memoriam stuff. Parliament of Religions held in Chicago in 1893 is a profound impact on both the East and the West, dedicating his life to spreading the ancient teachings of the Vedanta and the promoting the ideal of service to humanity as an act of worship. The foremost disciple of Sri Mama Ramakrishna, he founded the Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission which now have over 135 active centers around the world. A gift to the Hindu Temple of Greater Chicago from the 
the Viva Kananda Vedanta Society. This is so pretty. I love like I just yeah. noticed like the pink like flowers oh, on the yeah. ceiling. That's gorgeous. It's funny because I've noticed a lot of people they'll lump. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. They'll lump um, Hinduism and Buddhism together. Like I know a couple people that they're like. I, honestly, I feel like a lot of new age type practices will lump Buddhism and Hinduism together about they're like... They were based on like, the history behind them is similar, yeah. but Buddhism is way later in timeline, yeah. Yeah, this is like one of the world's oldest, they say it's the oldest, but they can't exactly prove no. that it's the oldest. Right, the oldest practicing they religion. They that it goes back to 6,000 years ago. Yeah. But they can't, but they know, like, they suspect it's gone on a lot farther than that, but they can only prove 6,000 years ago. Like, I guess here's an interesting view of parking lot, guys, as I'm talking, but, um, <laughs> like, something that, like, I learned, I guess, about, like, Judaism is that Jews were like mixed with Canaanites and there was kind of like a pantheon of gods. Um, Yahweh was like the supreme god and there was like theological debates between like people who only wanted to worship Yahweh like the Abrahamic religions do and then there were also people that wanted to kind of have it there's one supreme god and, but then there's lesser gods too. There was this whole debate like about it and because like the people that wanted to worship Yahweh exclusively were like, no, like those other spiritual beings aren't gods, they're angels. Like the question is like, what are the other spiritual beings? Are they gods or are they something else? Look at this asphalt, <laughs> so majestic. <laughs> this is the other temple, yeah. I love how, this is so cool. It's like, it has like the, um, I forgot what the elephant god is, what his name is. I forgot too. Ganesh? Yeah, Ganesh. Maybe, yeah. I think. Yeah, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong because I'm admitting my ignorance. I don't really know everything about this religion, but I want to, so that's why I'm here. This is the temple, the other temple they have. Everything that I'm uh, giving is information that I got uh, from a source here at this temple. Okay. Um, after a long visit and tour and um, stuff that I read in textbook or not textbooks but like library books and um and some online information so yeah if any of us are wrong please correct us yeah. neither of us are Hindu we just really like learning about other religions we're inside the temple we're not inside the prayer yeah it's right before we go into the prayer room we can't take pictures or videos in there but yeah this is what the inside looks like we have to be really quiet so that's why the sound quality is what it is so they'll give like money offerings to like help the church like so yeah that's pretty cool this is like the tree of life Sendilani. tree of life yes this kind of reminds me how in catholicism yeah. how we light candles for people um that have passed away and then they um add their name to like the tree of life that's just really empowering it's nice like for <laughs> bless you it's nice for like to sh yeah, see like, people like coming together parents in loving memory of my father. Yeah, just really beautiful. It's nice to like, even though like everybody's like so diverse, it's like, I feel like that humanity is like unified diversity, you know? But yeah, we're all one family. But yeah, I just thought this was super cool. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much guys for Thanks. watching. I am Cassidy, I'm the hippie Catholic. Yes, and that is my lovely friend, Jewel. God bless y'all, bye.